How come with all your faith and you prayed and your parents still, your dad still died? How come with all the grace of God over your life, you prayed and one of your loved ones still died? People like to condemn a lot. They said if this man claimed to be opening the eyes of the blind, why can't he, why, why can't he stop now? They didn't say why can't he wake him up because they too believe it's not possible to wake a dead body up. But they said why can't he stop him from dying? Let me tell you something about God. There are things God will not stop. There are things God will not what? Stop. He will allow it to happen. But what will happen is that after the thing has happened, the thing has done is worst, God will show up. God can stop Lazarus from dying. But he will, sometimes will not stop Lazarus from dying. God can stop you from losing that job. There are times he will allow you to lose the job. God can stop your relationship from breaking. But there are times he will allow you to break. God can stop the, 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 your visa being rejected. I mean, sorry, your, you being rejected at the embassy. He can stop it. But we allow them to stamp it rejection. God can stop Daniel from entering the den of lion. But we allow him to enter the den. Even though God knows nobody goes into the den and come out alive. He will still allow it to happen. Because listen to me, sometimes God allows Satan to do his worst. You don't know what we're talking about. He will say, Satan, have you done your worst? Then God will start his best. Some people think once Satan has done his worst, there's nothing God can do about it. Some people's faith is that once God has, Satan has been allowed to do his worst, ladies and gentlemen, there are situations where Satan has done his worst and that's when God shows up. In fact, he will have showed up when Lazarus just died. He didn't show up until Lazarus was smelling. Let's continue quickly because the next verse, quickly, quickly, quickly. Then Jesus again groaning, groaned. I mean, again groaning in himself, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone laid against it. You know, in those days, they have to seal the tomb so that some beast wouldn't come in and heat up the, the, the dead body. Jesus said in verse 39, take away what? Huh? They thought he just went to have his, you know, you know when we visit Beria Grand of our parents and we clear the, you, know, you have lost your parents, and we clear the, the place and put flour we don't say take away the stone because we, 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 what are we going to do if we take away the stone? Huh? But Jesus' visit to the tomb was very powerful. When they had take away the stone, I'm sure they looked at themselves and said, did he, what did he say? <laughs> like the traditional Yoruba. <laughs> what is he saying? Look at it again. Quickly, please. The scripture. John 11. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him who was dead, said to him, Lord, by this time, there is a what? He's thinking. NIV says, by this time, it stinketh. It stinks. For he has been dead for days. How can you wait for a situation to, be, to get to the worst? How can you open your eyes and you allow everything to vanish and things get to the world. Why can't you save me at the middle of it? Why do you allow me hit the bottom of the den of lion before you? Why do you have to? Let me tell you why. Sometimes human beings don't believe him enough. When he woke up the dead body of the daughter of Jairus, they said she didn't really die. They said what? They said he fainted. She fainted. That's why the baby girl came back. So this time, he wanted them to confirm how dead Lazarus is. I think God wants the world to confirm how dead our situation is as a country to the point where we spent our foreign, um, our foreign account to the point where it's not even up to half a million dollars. And everybody says, this, thinks it's, this is thinking. This is not a reversible situation. Do we have anybody here this morning? You are in this particular situation that looks non-reversible. It has gotten too bad, too worse. That was exactly what it was. The Bible says, look at that scripture again. They told him, they said, look, if you want to do anything, he stinks by now. 
Four days dead body is thinking, and everywhere is thinking. He said, been dead for four days. Verse 40. This is where we're going. Jesus said to her, Did I not say to you that if you would believe, you will see the glory of God? I've come to explain something very simple to you, and I'm going to take my seat shortly. You see, Jesus did not say if you could fast for 120 days. He didn't say if you could do 71 days of prayer all night. These things are lovely things to do. But that's not the, the, the requirement for a miracle. Just believe. I'm glad that is the requirement. Because there's nobody who can tell me that that's difficult. Because if it has been 360 days of fasting, you say, I can't fast. Oh. I have horse I have this. Oh. If it has been three days of darkness, seven days, three days of all night, not everybody can do 70 days of all night. Oh. He said, have I not told you that if you can believe, if you can believe, if Nigerians can believe in Nigeria, if Nigerians can, whether, that, whether you live outside or within, if we can believe, we will see the glory of God in this country. If you are not going to lose heart, if you are going to, be, if, just believe. I don't care how bad your situation is, the requirement, if you can, be, do you still believe? Tap your neighbor and say, do you still believe? Oh, you are not doing it well. Look at his eyes ball with confidence. Because some people, do you still believe? It will shock you. Many don't believe anymore. Many have threw in the towel. There are many believers in this country that have given up on Nigeria. There are many who go to church who don't believe anymore, but they just go to church for going to church sick. Do you still believe in your dream? Do you still believe in a bright future? Do you still believe? He said, do you believe? If thou canst believe, that is the only condition. He didn't say if you are a white man or a black man or a tall man or a short man, beautiful, ugly, if you can believe. All things are possible to them that believe. Are you hearing me? If you can believe, all things are possible to them who believe. Do you still believe that your children will make it? Do you still believe that you'll be happily married and your children will surround your table? Do you still believe that your dreams are valid? Many people don't believe again. And that's why Jesus said, have I not told you that if thou canst believe look a situation where somebody is dead and you are still saying if they can believe they believe their brother died the brother is now dead you are still saying if you believe ah. does it make sense it doesn't look like it makes sense to the flesh but it actually makes sense in the spirit i told you that god you'll be believing and god will watch the worst to happen you don't know. You'll be believing, and in the midst of your believing, God will still allow the worst thing to happen. And God will turn it around. We have come to a threshold as a country. I'm serious. That is the point we are right now. Where if we can believe, we'll see the glory of God. I know things are really bad. The day I heard that being a republic money is more than our money, I knew just about a month or two ago. That was when I knew how bad the situation is. Because the first time I go to Benin Republic, I was laughing at them. To buy Coca-Cola, to buy they, when they mentioned the figure, I said, ah. In fact, I was giving them their money. I would say, take what you mentioned from this. Because I was confused to be hearing some bogus amount. Because I want to buy ordinary Coca-Cola. You are telling me 350 something thousand safe fast. I say, what do you mean? Coca-Cola. I'm not buying this. I'm not buying the industry. I'm buying a bottle. <laughs> That's a, now. If the currency of such country now is a fifty naira, is, I mean, it will take about about fifty naira of ours to buy one of them. Then things are really bad. Why did God waited for things to be this bad? And He's still saying to us, "If thou can believe." Ladies and gentlemen, one of the things I've come to realize is that miracles do happen. <laughs> the 
Do we have anybody in the house who has tasted miracle before? Do you know what they call a miracle? You don't know. Do you know what they call a miracle? Miracles happen only, I mean, miracle only begins where human power hangs. You don't need a miracle if you can do it. Huh? Let me give you an example. I don't need a miracle to remove my glasses. I can't say, Lord, I need a miracle. I want to remove my glasses. Is it, does it make sense? Because without a miracle, without anything, I can remove my glasses. Everything I can do for myself, I don't need a miracle. A miracle begins where your power hands. Now, I want you to think, what are the things you can do for yourself? Paul can plant, Apollo can water, they cannot give increase. Huh? So that's why they tell us, do what you can. So God can do what only him can. Then they, that's what they call, they call a miracle. Huh? What could they do in John chapter 2? They could put water in the pot. At least they can put water. And they did, if Nigeria believed, they would do what they can. I'm tired of people saying, I believe. I believe. Believe is action. When you believe something will still happen in your life, you take some correspondent actions. Do you forget what I'm saying? Yes, While I was waiting for, when we when were 21 years of our waiting, I was writing the names of baby down. Oluwada Ola Melade was a name, I've never had any child bear that name before. I was creating names. I will write them down somewhere and keep it. When I see beautiful names, I will take it. I will put it down. When you still believe, there are some steps you still be taking. It is, look, stop using mouth to explain how much you believe. Start using action to tell God how much you believe. Let me tell you their belief. The moment they remove the stone, it shows the belief. Because they, that stone there is only removed either to hide another dead body there, not for a dead body to walk out. Nobody has ever done that before. John eleven forty says, "If thou can believe, all things are what." Look at verse forty one quickly. Look at verse forty one. Then they took away the stone. That was a major step, because that stone is not small stone. It's not something you just push. It's with a lot of effort. Are you hearing me? They took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying and Jesus lifted up his side and said, Father, I thank you that you have had me. That is belief. You have not said anything. He said, Father, thank you because Nigeria is great again. You have not done anything. You said, Father, thank you because I have a colorful future ahead of me. That statement was a futuristic statement. It's not about now. It is a thank. It is a thank. It is a thank you that you have had me. Past tense. Hello. It is a thank you that you will hear me. It is a thank you that you are hearing me. It is a thank you because this is a testimony or Nigeria will be great again. Is a testimony already. There will be a turnaround in this country. Is a testimony already. In the midst of all these things, you will try is a testimony already. You build your own personal house, why dollar is going down is a testimony already. You are not saying amen, you don't believe. The Jesus said, Thank you because you had me. Look at the next verse. Then he took the okay, it, then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have had me. Verse 42. And I know that you will always hear me. But because of the people who are standing by, I said, he said, I know they don't believe it's because of them, that they may believe that you sent me. Look at the next verse. Verse 43. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Nigeria! Come forth. <laughs> 